Yo, 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 we got a special guest, man. Introduce yourself. Bro, what's going on? It's Ken Casanova from Columbus, Ohio, OVX. Okay. So you, um, I got word about you from actually my cousin, man. He raps as well. And he was just, you know, saying that you got a different sound. You nice. He like, man, I think you'll like him. I think you'll like his music. And as you seen when I, when I pulled up, man, I was actually playing your shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I said, I do anybody I interview, I do my homework on them. You know what I'm saying? Just to see their journey, their process, and just to hear, you know, what they, how they approaching the game. Uh, what got you in it? What got you into music, man? Cause you, you clearly got a different sound about your music, man. I, like I told you, your shit should be on the radio. You know what I'm saying? So, um, what, uh, what got you in it? You know, writing music and just got you involved. Really, I started, I've been doing music since I was a kid, really. Man, I ain't take it serious till I was about like, maybe high school. I was always writing songs and shit. Mm -hmm. And everything I say in my music is basically shit I've been through. Mm -hmm. And really it's just shit I've seen growing up, type shit, struggles, man. I guess it's just, I mean, I, I write a song every day. So okay. anything that comes to my head, like, Corky. walking down the street, I see something, I hurry it, write it down to my phone, I write it down. If it, even if it's a hook, I write it. Got a little melody stuck in my head, but really it's just, I don't know, that shit, it's like, it's like I'm in a whole different time zone when I write. Mm -hmm. And then going to the studio and recording it, it's like I'm a whole different person. It's like, it's a feeling I can't even describe. So then just like attacking it in different type of ways, like making business moves for it and all type of stuff. It's just, I mean, I can't stop doing it. Okay. So really, it's a whole bunch of, it's a whole bunch of shit I want to do with my music. For sure. What do you have out uh, as far as, like, you know, right now, what type of music do you have out? Uh, I got an EP out. Okay. I got three mixtapes out. I got one on the way. I might drop it in 2020 called Understand It. And that one, that right there, that shit. We got 18 tracks for that. Mm. And that shit, it's just. That's work. Man. Yeah. And uh, me and my nigga TC, shout out to him. We did, you feel me, most, most of the production on it. So it's like I could produce too. So like some like most of my old projects, you know, I did most of the production on it and shit. But it's just shit like that. I got a, a compilation tape out that I'm about to re-release like next week. So yeah. Okay. That's what's up though, man. Uh I see you working, man. You said what you said, 18, 16? How many tracks you say? 18. 18. Yeah, that's that's work, man. And and I I, I express this to a lot of artists, you know, we, even when I'm just you know, chopping it up with the bros or, you know, other creatives. It's like, people's attention span with the generation is just like four tracks. You know what I'm saying? You popping a tape nowadays, like if the first three tracks ain't hitting, they'll turn the thing off, man. You know what I'm saying? They'll turn the music off or change the channel or switch to what they've been listening to. You know what I'm saying? So I always tell creatives and artists, man, like anytime you're in emotion or anytime your heart is in it, man, drop as many songs as you feel needs to be on that tape. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if it's 30 tracks, 50 tracks. If you feel like that's where your heart is at, man. If you feel like you need to put that type of content out, if you feel like you need to put that type of work out, man, put it out there. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter who's listening. It's, it's you know, at the end of the day, it's for you and your passion. You know what I'm saying? People gonna listen if it's good work. It's gonna spread like a virus. You know what I'm saying? I got to talk about. For sure. 18 shit. You gonna, yeah. I'm gonna catch your attention that first track. Cause that's, yeah. that's my little like go to for it like that first one got a hit for me mm -hmm. it gotta be the first one whether it's like my little intro <clears throat> excuse me on my last shit you know it was, uh, me talking like i was like in a dream type shit because mm -hmm. it's like that like i want to catch your attention the first time because i want you to be like damn like so what you talking about the next one type shit so definitely in my new shit first one i got my nigga buka he on the uh first track my nigga bucci he on the first track and my uh engineer tc he on it so and then really on my tape, I got a bunch of features and then I got a bunch of uh, guest appearances. So I'm, I'm going all out for this one. Okay. That's how it's supposed to be, man. Keep putting in that work, man. I, I Like I said, I heard you, man. You definitely got a different sound. Uh, for sure. Um, the next question, what do you, uh, what does, uh, I know, lost myself up, man. Uh, what does OVX, I'm sorry, yeah. What does OVX stand for for the ones that don't know? Including myself. OVX, that's my record label, Our Vision Records. The X is just X everything out. X out all the distractions. X out all the negativity. X okay. out anything that's going to hold you back from achieving your goals. Okay. So just keep your vision intact. Our mm -hmm. vision records of the X. Now, what is your, where does your name come from, you know, for the ones that don't know as well? Uh, Kane Casanova. The name itself, uh, 
uh, for years my name was just uh, Kane. I went by just Kane. And that's just based off of my favorite movie, All Time Men's Society. Okay. So I just like took that Kane and I just ran with it. But then in Casanova, I came up with that probably like 2014, 2015. Mm -hmm. And it was just, you know, the actual definition, you know, Casanova and just like to touch people, like how I make people feel. So it was like, damn, I just put them together, Kane Casanova. And then that's when I like really tapped in and like started speaking more about like personal shit. Because having that name on there is like I can really, you know, connect with people now. So it was just something like that. And it sounded good together too at the right. same time. Right. What um what what who is your top like uh motivators or inspirers? You know, who are you inspired by in the music industry? Or just, you know, locals. It could be it could be anybody, you know, who are you inspired by to keep you going with the music? Industry, Eminem, top number one Eminem. Okay. Just his work ethic, his style, just everything. Eminem. Locally though, who I'm inspired by is uh, uh Krizzle. He uh, he's man, he's crazy. Like, mm -hmm. he's, I think he's my favorite from the city. Okay. And seeing like his work ethic, like he goes so hard for this shit. Mm -hmm. That's that's who definitely inspires me. Locally. I know all his shit. He, he crazy. That's what's up with uh, um, what'd you call it? Uh, uh, artist supporting the artist. Hell yeah. That's what's up, man. What uh, what can we look forward to, as far as you know your music or you know what's this? What's next for you, man? Cause I know, like I've heard your music, man, and it seems like you truly underrated, man. You know what I'm saying? Like man. you didn't drew me in to be an art, you know, a fan. You know what I'm saying? A supporter, a listener. You know what I'm saying? This seems like your music is just overlooked, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people need to hear it, and like how do you, you know how can you raise the bar as far as getting out there and and, and um, spreading your message to the people that don't know about you. Really, I'm a. I've been I've been thinking about a whole bunch of different shit, a whole bunch of different revenues I can go down. But for one, I'm gonna attack it with uh, my label. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show people that I'm not chasing no deal. I'm gonna sign myself because I feel like it's a whole bunch of shit I want to do creatively, and I can't do that under a major, you know, record record label. I want to be more. Free, I want to have freedom, and just the niggas I'm bringing up with me that's under my label. Like, I just want to help them on their projects, showing that you know I, I can piece together my own shit and contribute to someone else's shit. And then I got my clothing line. I'm about to start doing. I linked up with uh, this one local clothing uh, nigga. His name uh, shit. I really don't know his name personally, but his brand is a uh, Top Clothing. Mm -hmm. We about to do like a little partnership for the little merchandise. I'm trying to open up a store trying to start my own OVX, like official building downtown, at least one of these buildings. Okay. Build a studio, all type of shit. And then just go from there, start releasing projects. And hopefully after I drop my understanding tape, start coming with more visuals. And really maybe work on an album in the next couple of years after I officially sign myself in the Okay, so you got a long. true, true plan, man. You got some major shit going on, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, like I said, I, I feel like you you in a different lane from a lot of artists that's just rapping, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of artists out here are just rapping just to get the glam, the glory, and you know, the attention. But I feel like you really out here trying to create a purpose and create opportunities, man. You know what I'm saying? And you young at that, like, you know, but um, who you feel like was, you know, that's in your circle or, you know, as far as who you, who you um rap with or, you know, be an artist with or creative with, who you feel like would be the best, you know, to you, that would, you know, as a supporter or just a tag along person that's really gonna keep that fire under your ass, man, to keep you going, to keep you motivated. Oh man, that, that's not even, that's not even a hard one. All my, all my niggas and everyone in my circle, they all motivate me, they keep me, and they inspire me at that. Mm -hmm. And my, uh, my brother, Lil Sam, he inspired me, R.P. Leanton, he definitely inspired me. Mm -hmm. I started rapping, but he gets on my ass the most, and I know it's gonna keep my head on straight. It's my nigga, King Stacks. He's, he's up next to OVX, and I'm working. Okay. I'm helping him work on his project. He got a little 16 track, Trap with Love on the way. Okay. Definitely, he's he, he he's next. I'm telling you, that that man, he go crazy for this shit. He just keeps my head on for anything. Like if I'm in the studio, I'm recording. My nigga TC, he'll walk out and shit, and then he'll hop. He'll take the engineer's seat. Hit record, you know, help mm -hmm. me get my shit right, and it's just like it's just like it's more than just like that him being my brother. It's like that's my business partner as well. Mm -hmm. Like he come up with plans, different you know revenues and lanes to approach and attack, and he's bring up to me 
So definitely my OBS take off partnership already. Okay. So last few before we get up out of here, man. Uh, where can we find you at on social media or your music or you know anything? How can we contact you and you know stay tuned in to your movement? Social media, you can follow me on Instagram at Kane Casanova, Twitter at Kane Casanova, uh, Facebook page is Kane Casanova OVX. You can follow my, uh, subscribe to my website, mm -hmm. www.kanecasanova.com, and just like that. YouTube, uh, Kane Casanova, SoundCloud, Kane, everything's Kane Casanova. Okay. You just, you just stamped yourself for sure, so we could I'm sure it'd be easy to find you, man. Uh, what is one crazy fun fact about you that we don't know? One crazy fun fact about me is that, well, everybody that know me personally know I'm always smiling. Mm -hmm. Just it don't, it don't matter. Like, I can have a terrible day. First thing you see me, I'm smiling. That's in this, I don't know. I just like to smile. Yeah, good spirit, man. You know, yeah, good energy, man. That's, that's, that's naturally creative, man. You know, so if we get up out of here, uh, What's next for you, man? How do you feel like you can raise the bar, you know, and just continue to keep growing and developing and evolving? What's next for you as far as what we, we can stay, you know, tuned in with your movement? What's next? Understanding. Oh. Okay. distribution deal with hopefully universal in the next couple of years i'm gonna drop this understanding tape and i'm talking my shit i'm gonna let you into my life i'm gonna show you who i am and i'm gonna be asked. i'm gonna put my niggas on i'm gonna do a whole bunch of shit and i'm gonna get out there they gonna sure. know who i am 2020 definitely okay he coming he ready man he coming for any throw niggas need they the king of columbus i'm coming for everything you're going to know me you're going to feel me. You're going to walk down the street. You're going to see a Kane Casanova shirt. You're going to see my name everywhere. I got business cards. You're going to see them motherfuckers everywhere. I'm coming strong. I'm attacking every throne, stepping over everyone. So there you have it. You heard it first from Kane Casanova, man. So until next time we see y'all, stay tuned. Be aware of his movement. He hungry. New young artist, man. He's coming out. He's coming for everything, man. One.